What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers, so please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is gonna give you up to 12 free stocks when you open a new Weeble brokerage account. Put at least $100 in that brokerage account. They're gonna give you up to 12 free stocks for just trying out their brokerage app. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Well, guys, I'm in the Denver airport, headed back to Fort Myers, Florida. Just spent a couple days um, enjoying myself in Boulder, Colorado, hanging out with my good friend, Deion Sanders. Um, I actually brought my youngest daughter with me on this trip, and she's a volleyball player, so um, Coach Prime, connected us with one of the top volleyball players on the CU volleyball team and real nice young lady. She showed us around and um, really made my daughter feel special. And um, that's what it's all about, man, this financial freedom thing, guys, is just being able to have those type of experiences with, with your loved ones and not have to worry about how much it's going to cost for me to buy the plane tickets and how much is it going to cost for me to get the hotel room how much is it going to cost to get the rental car you know do i got enough can i can i make all this happen without uh putting myself in any type of debt and um you know it's nice to be able to do that and not have to worry about paying for it but you guys know man you know that doesn't just happen it don't just uh fall out of the sky and hit you on top of the head um that requires some some financial sacrifice. It requires discipline. Um, it requires uh, consistency. It requires uh, patience. Um, you, you definitely have to live on less than what you make. You got to live on a, a plan, which is a personal budget. You got to uh, stay out of consumer debt. And then you got to save and invest. And that's the only way I'm able to do the things that I do, guys. Um, you know, it's because I, I paid the financial price. I had an opportunity also while I was here to talk with some of the, 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 the players um, on the, the, the football team. Just to, just a chop it up session. Because um, you guys know I'm no financial advisor. Um, I'm no certified public accountant. So I, I was certainly not giving no advice or anything like that. What I was just doing was uh, sharing some of my experiences, man, being a former athlete and, you know, I've been in their shoes, you know, 18 to 21 year old kids who are trying to find out, you know, where their financial pathway is gonna be. Uh, a lot of those kids are hopeful to be NFL players, um, just like I was. I played three years in the league, but like I told him, I said, playing three years in the league, I, I didn't make enough money to put myself in a position where I was taking care for the rest of my life. Matter of fact, I had no financial literacy at, at 21 years old, and the little money I did make in the NFL, I, I spent it all because I just didn't have any financial literacy. And I explained that to him. And I said, you know, always have a plan B. And I know a lot of times, you know, people, oh, only have a plan A. Just, you know, no, you should never have a plan B. I, I disagree with that. I think we all should have a plan B. Because sometimes plan A just don't work out. That's just life, man. That's, that's you know, this whole thing of never have a plan B is some, you know, fairy dust. That, that's not the real world. The real world is you better have a plan B, plan C if necessary. Because guess what? If I have a plan A 
And let's say that plan A is to start a business. And for whatever reason, that business doesn't pan out. If I didn't have a plan B to, to do something else, how, how am I gonna make money? How am I gonna take care of myself? How am I gonna get the financial freedom? So, you know, in my conversation with them young men, I was just giving them my, my, my story and, and, and some of the financial uh, pits that I fell in. And, and hopefully they will take some of that experience that I, that I gave them uh, during my little conversation with them and, and, and they'll, they'll draw on that when, when, when financial adversity comes their way, because it will. Uh, we all face financial adversity, right? It's, it's how we handle that adversity uh, will determine if we get to financial freedom or not. For me, man, listen, I failed a lot of times, but the key to me is I never stayed down. I always got back up because I always understood on the other side of failure is success. So that's what I left those young men with. I told them, you know, be good stewards of your money that you make, especially if you get an opportunity to go to the league and, and you make some big money, um, take care of that big money, invest it, you know, take a portion of it for yourself and have a good time and take care of your family, but take a portion of it also and put it in something that, that can grow it long term. So when you're, when you're done with your, your, your NFL days um, and the average span that a person or a player plays in the NFL is about three and a half years, but when you're done with that, you got something to show for it. When I was done with my three years, I didn't have anything to show for it. I had to roll up my sleeves and get into this real world um, and, 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 and make a way for myself financially, which I did. But I don't want those guys to have to go through that that type of financial adversity. I want them to be able to, 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 to you know, get this opportunity if they get it in the NFL, make this money, but but take care of it, protect it. Um, you know what I mean? Keep it and then multiply it. And for those guys that don't get that shot, I told them, look, you got college. You're in a power five university. Uh, get that education. You know, concentrate on something that will, 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 will enhance your ability to be able to make money, keep it, and then multiply it. You know, take that opportunity and, and, and use that as the plan B. If they do that, I think they give themselves a good opportunity to be successful. So my time here in Boulder, Colorado, man, has been great. Um, this is my third trip here, and I plan on making many more trips. Um, and I just love the, the area, and it's a, a, a good contrast to where I'm from, which is Fort Myers, Florida, which is, you know, tropical weather 12 months of the year. Here you get real uh, changes in the seasons, right? And I really like their winter here in Boulder, Colorado. So I'm thinking about making this the second home. You guys know I've made some videos in the past talking about making this my second home and I'm really considering that. So uh, yeah, but I'm stuck here in the airport. My flight was supposed to leave at, shoot, I don't know, I think eight o'clock. And guess what? <laughs> it still ain't left and it's almost 11 o'clock and that's uh, Mountain Standard Time. So hopefully at some point we will get this flight underway and I get myself back to Fort Myers. But I thought I'd just spend a few minutes and let you guys know what a wonderful week uh, I've had. Um, my time here in Boulder, Colorado with Coach Prime and with my youngest daughter. Um, it, it's just times like this, man, is what financial freedom is all about. And what makes financial freedom so special is being able to enjoy uh, this type of thing without not, 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 not worrying about how I'm going to pay for it. And I want that for you guys. Use 2023 as your catalyst, your financial catalyst to, to, to build your wealth. You know, how do you get rich? How do you get wealthy? In this bull market we're getting ready to go into in 2024, 2025. Well, I tell you right now, today is where you start that process in 2023, right? We got roughly five months left in 2023. You should be putting yourself in a position where you're buying paper assets right now while they're at a discount and then holding those paper assets through 2024, 2025 and beyond. And once we get back into this new bull market, man, 
it's going to be wonderful, man. All of those investments that you buy today, hopefully, if you buy the right investments, if you've been listening to my videos, you'll know exactly what investments I'm talking about. Now, no guarantees in the stock market, but no guarantees when you buy any assets for the most part. But if you lean on the history of those assets, it gives you a good indication from a historical performance standpoint. It'll give you some indication of what it could do in the future. Take, for instance, the S&P 500 index. Over the last 90 years, 7 to 10% rate of return on average for 90 years. So if I'm someone trying to build wealth, the S&P 500 index is one of the investments I would want to be in. Why? Because it has 90 years of proof. Right. It's a proven concept. It's a proven investment. And the way I do it is, is I invest in ETFs and index funds that track that S&P 500 index. So if I did that at a thousand dollars a month for the next 10 years with an eight percent rate of return, that would give me one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars in growth between my investment and my interest. Right. My principal and my interest. It would total one hundred and seventy five K. That's a pretty good deal for a thousand dollars a month investing. Now, if that return is 10%, obviously it's higher. But my point is, in order to get to financial freedom, you have to build assets, assets that actually generate passive income. I'm gonna get back here and get to my gate, make sure I don't visit this flight to Fort Myers, but I thought I wanted to share a little bit about my trip to Boulder, Colorado. You guys drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know uh, what's your favorite place in the United States to visit? Um, and and if, if, if money was no object, what would be your favorite place in the world to visit? Drop that down in the comment box. If you want them 12 free stocks from Weeble, guys, you got to click on that link down in the description box. Open up that new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace.